got about two wheels on the ground. He's a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. Man, I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this. Okay, when he hits the craters and starts bouncing is when he gets his rooster tail. In my view, the Rover was the first real electric car. My name is astronaut Charlie Duke. I got to fly on Apollo 16, and I was the 10th guy to step foot on the moon. The noise from the engines goes this way, but the vibration goes that way. And I found out later from the flight surgeon, when I asked him, I said, what was my heartbeat on liftoff? He said, 144, you were really excited. And I said, you bet I was. We have ignition sequence start. Houston is now controlling. Oh, you yeah, have good thrust in all five. Roger. Pump in the tank, Charlie. Okay, 38 degrees. Right. Now on dot, north right. John was flying and I was talking him down. Looks like we're going to be able to make it, John. There's not too many blocks up there. Ryan, you go for landing. And by 500 feet, he was fully manual control. And we settled down and light came on, said contact. Wow! We felt right at home. It's like you'd been here before, but you knew you hadn't. Hey, John, this is perfect with the rover and you and the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. There we go. That first step on the moon, I was just so excited. You couldn't sit there and ponder. You just had to enjoy the excitement while you were doing your job. The lunar rover was an all-electric vehicle. It had two batteries, I think about 100 amp hour. We had plenty of power. Each wheel had its own independent suspension and uh, gave you uh, really good traction. Before the rover came, 400 meters was probably the limit of walking. But with the rover, we could go uh, seven kilometers away from your landing site. It helped uh, just to revolutionize lunar exploration. And that's a beautiful sight. So it was all electric, and I don't think we used even half of a battery during our three-day stay up there. When we left, we left the car parked with the television on. They wanted to see liftoff. And uh, after liftoff, they continued to move the camera around. And I think several days later, maybe the batteries uh, went dead. I've always said, if you want an $8 million car with a dead battery, I can tell you where to go get one. Down here on Earth, I have never driven an electric car. I think I have the same mental outlook for a car as I do for an airplane. When I get into uh, a new vehicle uh, that I'm gonna drive, first I gotta sit there and take it all in. Uh, I think uh, visibility and the layout of the uh, cockpit, the throttle, sidearm controller, and it's all integrated stuff now. Uh, this is really high tech. Amazing electric car, sure has technology is uh, order of magnitude more than that over our rover.